hey what's going on um, I know it's been a while since I've had a new video up so I figured I better get cranking and do something um, I'm working on a on a comic book commission right now it's gonna be a little bit of um, well I don't know it, I guess it's this is gonna be more of an airbrushing video than a sketching kind of laying in the uh, the base color on the background right now I've already I, w I was working on Hulk earlier so I kind of got him laid out and we're already most of the color work so uh, this is just this is still just really basic right now I still got a lot of detail to do in him I've been kind of busy working, um, airbrushing, um, an, uh, another rifle. So I'm just getting all the color work. This one's actually kind of a, a special gun. It's got a, uh, it's going to have a really cool, um, profile of a Viking head. Uh, airbrushed into the, uh, on the side of the magazine well and I'll post pictures of that here on YouTube as well as Facebook so if you follow me, hit me on Facebook um, you'll get to see it there uh, well, let's see what else have I been doing I guess I've been sleeping a little bit better lately so uh, not too many drawings going up at night But, uh, I guess that's good. Uh, it's been cutting into my drawing time, all this sleep that I've been doing. Uh, but I guess I needed it. to go car shopping today my wife's van is getting ready to take a nose dive on us so I didn't want to get into another car payment just yet so I started searching Craigslist and I found a pretty decent deal on a, on a Ford Taurus and so I'm a little test drive on it today and came home with it. I don't know if you can hear the music there. I got the Clockwork Orange going on in the background. That is just the craziest movie. Funny what passed for uh, entertainment. Back in the 60s. Okay, I'm getting pretty busy. I've got a, you know, my kids getting ready to start school now, and I've got a reunion. Well, you knew with my uh, military unit that I was in, that I spent most of my career in. A bunch of us will be getting together in Omaha. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I haven't seen a lot of these guys in a couple of decades. Uh, I tried keeping in touch as best I could uh, over the years. 
what I'm doing right here is I'm kind of holding the needle back. I don't know if you can see that. And what it does is it lets paint build up on the tip, and then I just give it a little blast of air, and I get a little stipple effect. Just to give my painting a little background texture without having to break out the uh, the toothbrush or the paintbrush at this stage. It's a little easier to control, just kind of the longer you hold it back, the more paint gets on the tip of the needle. And you just kind of blast it off. I'm working with it. Raw umber right now. Just to work this kind of texture in the background. This is one of those. I had uh, a handful of uh, comic book cover commissions that I had to get done, and I kind of got in a little bit of a slump, um, so I'm a little behind on these, but I've got three to do now, so I'm, I'm down to three, and I can get these out of the way. See if I can give you a little better look of what I'm doing right now. Let's get it right here. Like I said, I'm I'm just in the initial stages. Everything's kind of loose and kind of hazy right now. We'll get it uh, to a certain point, and then we'll start tar tightening it up with the uh, color pencils and uh, the paintbrush. But I'm having fun with it. <clears throat> This is the covers of these are um, they're cardstock. So working the airbrush on them, it really isn't. Uh, it doesn't. It's not like working on the uh, on the paper or the board. It uh, it takes a little bit uh, a little bit more to get the effect you want. Um, the the paper soaks up the uh, the paint a little too well, I think, for my taste. a little ultramarine blue in there kind of give me a with the brown it gives me almost a almost a black a really dark brown Paper stencils tend to walk a little bit, but uh, sort of spray in one direction, coming off the paper towards the painted surface area, and hold it down well enough.
yellow in there. I'm gonna brighten up my background a little bit. Doesn't matter if it gets on the hull, he's kinda got a little yellow tint to him as well. Picked up a few more color pencils. I actually got some greens and some other browns to work with. I thought that might help me get my the full effect of what I'm going for here uh, a little better. Yeah, see, this is the part that it gets a little. I might have to just go with straight paintbrush and acrylic on this because this board really soaks up the paint and uh, but it doesn't I don't know it's I think it's a little too absorbent it doesn't let that that uh, prismacolor do anything there we go This will work. It's a little more intense, but he gets me there. I know I didn't get too far. I didn't get to show you too much on this, but I'll, uh, I'll do a couple little videos at this stage, and I'll work in a little a little more of the highlights and a little bit more of the detailing and I'll post that pretty soon this one's going to come out pretty cool Alright, I think that's going to do it for right now. So uh, I don't really have a lot to say. I'm just kind of still trying to figure out what I was doing here. Of course, the pain meds, I think that might have a little, a little bit to do with my lack of... Uh, of, of uh, vocalization here. play this uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, get this ready to post and I'll, uh, I'll work on this when I've got a little bit more laid out so we can get into a little bit start seeing the detail come out thanks